How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Sick Eric Tech. Today I'm going to be quickly showing you how to customize your Galaxy S23 as far as the theming goes. Now I know a lot of people are saying, but Sick Eric, I already know how to do that. Well, there's a lot of people who are like, what? I didn't know you could customize your theme. This is for those people. So let's go ahead and get started. Subscribe, like, and share, do all the other stuff. Let's go. So as far as wallpapers go, the apps that I use that I like to use are backdrops, a lot of nice different wallpapers on here. You get a whole bunch of different collections on here for your wallpapers. You got a community on there. You get a lot of different types of amulet and everything on here. You could search for different wallpapers. You could search by color. So backdrops is a really good app that I like to use. And another one I like to use is Wallipop, which is the current wallpaper that I got going on right now. I'll post a link for these in the description down below. As you can see, very nice, dark, contrasty amulet colors that they got on here. Very bright, very dark and black. And I like to use this app a lot. And this is the current wallpaper that I'm using. So just download the wallpaper or whatever wallpaper you're choosing. And for me, I've already set this to my home screen and lock screen. Now you want to long press on your home screen and go into wallpapers and styles. And here you could start switching and changing all the colors for your icons and your notification panel and everything. You're going to go into color palette and you're going to choose which one goes with your wallpaper. It's going to pick all of the colors from your wallpapers. You get a nice preview up here of how your dial pad is going to look, how your calculator is going to look. And you get a whole bunch of different options. You get about three different pages and then just switch which one you want to use. We're going to go with the purple this one right here and you could also apply this color to your icons if you want to as well uh, if you don't do that if you leave this unchecked your icons will look like your normal stock app icons down there at the bottom but if you check this on here it will apply that color to your icons on your home screen as you can see right there it changed all your icons and it changes all your colors right here if your keypad it'll change everything on there as well if you go into your uh say your calculator it'll theme that as well too nothing else will get themed unfortunately as far as your icons and your settings and things like that so very nice and very quick to do when it comes down to wallpapers and styles you could also check on there and then uh, you could change your wallpapers if you want to do that more as well. You could go through Sammy and check all of the wallpapers that Samsung has to offer on there as well. You could also dim the wallpaper. Uh, if you have dark mode on, if you don't uh, dim this, it will be a little brighter depending on what you prefer. Uh, let's go ahead and keep it on not dimming. And there you go. You have the option to change all of that as well. So very nice when it comes down to the themes. If you want to download themes, you could also go into Galaxy themes, but that costs money and who wants to spend money on stuff like that? And then uh, you could customize everything that you want according to your wallpaper and make everything look a little bit more fluid. Now, another thing you could do is go into your lock screen. And if you long press on your lock screen, and now you have the option to customize your lock screen. So if you want to customize your clock, you have so many different options to change the font of your clock as well. If you want to do that, you could change the size of your clock on your lock screen as well. If you want to do that and you could change the color to uh, your wall, to your clock as well. Usually I like to keep it on auto and that'll take colors from your wallpaper and change your clock you could also change your notifications you could keep them detailed icon or none you could change transparency on there you could even add some custom text at the bottom if you want to do that and from here you could change your app icon shortcuts on your lock screen that way you could quickly launch certain apps that you have on there as well on your lock screen you, when you're done you just hit done and boom your lock screen has been changed so you have several different clocks to do on there that you could change as well unfortunately for your always on display uh, it is pretty limited when it comes down to customization you could change your clocks and things like that on your always on display but you really can't mess with the colors all of the colors are pretty muted and um, pretty uh, pastel-y colors so you really can't do anything extreme with your clock on your always on display you can add an image if you want to add an image Go to themes, you can add stickers, Bitmoji, whatever you want to do, you could change on there as well. And then you're just gonna hit done. And uh, as far as music information, you could add some of that stuff on there too. You can make sure 
if you want it to be portrait or landscape you could do that as well pretty simple to do to change your theming on your galaxy s23 or any other galaxy device pretty simple pretty easy and pretty quick to do just to get it looking just the way that you want it with some nice wallpaper nice icons and nice color scheme thank you guys for watching if you found this video useful give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and i will see you next time here on sick eric tech peace